Hi, my beautiful Pisces. I just shuffled and cut the deck. What does Pisces need to know? Welcome to the Gifted Hermit, by the way. My name's Leela. I hope you guys are doing all right and a happy new year as well. This is nice. Three of cups, my darling. And that's what energy it's like. I feel the need to say friends are important to, to people, not everybody. But I feel like friends are being very supportive for you right now. You know, your your support network, your bubble, whoever it is you have around you. Um, they bring you some sort of happiness. Teamwork makes the dream work for some Pisces right now. There's a need to be happy. There's a need to celebrate. There's a need, a need for you to give yourself a pat on the back. Friends are very important to you right now. And I feel like they've been... Oh. They've been the back... They, you know, they've been your rock. The high priestess, okay? Maybe, you know, you've got some ideas. Maybe you want to go into business with your friends. I feel like this is ideas that you're sharing. That's bringing some sort of success. This is tapping also into your intuition, Pisces, isn't it? I feel like... There's something, you know, tapping into your psyche, of course, because you've got the moon here. And this is your intuition. Going with your intuition. Going with your intuition may bring you some sort of success. Taking a quiet time to kind of listen to your mind will bring some sort of answers as well. I feel the need to say the ideas that you're looking for, the answers that you're looking for. Maybe you'll find the answers within your French, your friendship circle. The strength card. You might have a Leo in your life okay this is having confidence you know this is also taming the inner beast i feel the need to say for some of you you know taming yourself um having confidence being courageous and and knowing that everything's gonna be all right really having um a positive outlook trying to have a positive outlook trying to stay courageous you know, friends are very important to you right now, I feel the need to say. There may be a Leo in your life as well. I feel the need to say this Leo, for some of you, is uh, plays a major part in your life for some of you. And again, it's just Tarot tapping in and suggesting that you guys are very courageous. You've had to be, perhaps, for some reason or another you know and 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 maybe you know being self-aware and really looking at yourself learning to take um response you know learning to be responsible for your actions you know maybe you've been very tolerant of others you've had to be you've had to be tolerant of others behaviors and and actions and you've had to kind of remain calm about it maybe you need to be prepared to forgive or or forget, you know, to accept someone's, to accept someone, you know, you know, or a situation. We can't always have our cake and eat it in life, of course. If it's concerning love, maybe ask yourself if you're giving too much. Are you getting anything back from the situation? You know, some of you might be in love with friends. Mm. Or they started off as a friend and it got a bit further, you know. Right, so let's get some more cards, please, for Pisces. Pisces. What else for Pisces? Please remember to give me a thumbs up if I resonate with you in any way. A lot of you are considering moving as well perhaps a lot of you are considering moving a lot of you are considering what does the future hold there's a lot of looking into the future there's a lot of you that have a lot of responsibilities okay maybe something's a burden on you but the ultimate the ultimate goal is happiness it's happiness isn't it and, and protecting your family, I feel the need to say for a lot of you. So we're going back from the strength card. We, you know, we tap into that again with the two of wands. This is having courage, my darlings, okay? Um, the future's yours. The future's bright. 
widening your perspective on life you know there's an achievement you should be happy for what you've achieved some of you've really done your best and you've made some great achievements here it's the doubling you know of the strength card This is about asserting ourselves, okay? And finding our own level of personal power in life. And um, it's really nice. It's about power, you know, and what course is it you want to take? Now's the time for you, Pisces, you know? It's right for some sort of invention, some sort of idea, like I was saying before, I think now's the time for you to do it. It might take a lot of work, you know, because we move to the the energy going to the Ten of Wands. And and this is, uh, this is hard work. It might be a heavy burden. It might be an uphill struggle. It might be, you know, don't overextend yourself. You know, I feel like you, some of you are overextending yourself, perhaps, and, and pushing yourself really far. Maybe some of you are struggling with your responsibilities right now. Or you think, you know, you believe that there's a price to pay. For some of you, I don't know what that energy is. Like, there's always a price to pay for something here. There might be a bit of an uphill struggle for this idea for some of you, okay? Maybe you need to lighten the load. Let others help you. And it could be the friends around you. You know, the good network of people that you have. They can help you. We can't do everything ourselves. You can't blame yourself for any events that have unfolded. There's no need to feel guilty or responsible or overcommitted don't get yourself overcommitted to something here everything you know is valuable in life don't get maybe transfixed on a situation as well there's also a deeper level of interpretation of this card and that basically is that our very burdens in life is what force us to carry on and win at all costs you know and and basically what doesn't kill us makes us stronger right ten of cups the ultimate goal the ultimate endness the ultimate divine end of a story it's a beautiful card ten of cups is emotional happiness some of you want to think I can feel it. Some of you think, when will I ever be happy again? I can feel it. We have to see the light. We have to not be hard on ourselves. We have to see the light in situations, the positives, okay? You will see the light soon, because this is in the future position. There's going to be a big restore of balance in your life, within your heart, yourself. We had one huge uh, flipper there. Time to act upon your plans. And that's definitely been the theme, you know, this idea, whatever it is, do it. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So something, something that you're meant to do, Pisces, is going to make you quite prosperous as well. And you've got good people around you. The majority of you have good people around you. There's a whole lot of love here. And respect. And emotion. And understanding. What else for Pisces, please? Change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free from procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. And this is the tower card, you know? An, an, an act of God. Something that's meant to happen in order for greatness to, to happen. A sudden revelation. I like that.
it might happen on the 16th of January, I feel the need to say, for some of you, you know. Anyway, Pisces, I think I'm out of here. I enjoyed that reading. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if it resonated with you in any way. And if you want a personal, you can book me through the website. Catch you on the rebound. Mwah.